I'm dedicating this video to my wife Lisa because today is our 12th anniversary 1st September it was an amazing day but without Lisa we wouldn't be here in France if she was the driving force behind it and sorted everything out sorted all the visa stuff out and uh, yeah Lisa's an amazing woman we say it as it is it's a uh, no bullshit channel yeah, there's nothing fake about this channel, apart from my hair colour and beard colour. Lisa, this morning, had her first troll on her channel. But before any of that, roll intro. <laughs> Morning, chickens. How are you? Yeah, I'd uh, I'd get your parapluies out today. Because it's raining. Good morning. From the southwest of France, the northest tip of the southwest of France, so it's still the southwest of France. La Charente. Um, yeah, raining. Raining today. But it uh, means that we're going to save on our water bill for the veggie patch. Anyway. I'm both appreciative and astounded by all the positive comments yesterday after the troll. <laughs> um, yeah, you, yeah, you people really, really care, don't you? So th thank you so much. And the majority of the comments came from French people um, who watched the channel. And I knew, I knew a few did, but I didn't realise how many. So I'm going to speak more slowly because there are a few that don't watch it using subtitles and can't, can't understand me. But I'm from the northwest of England and we talk fast. So I'm probably gonna forget. Anyway, the dog's over there eating chicken poo and I'm gonna pause this while I stop it. Too late, I think he ate about a pound of it. Anyway, no, seriously though, um, I think comments, and I got another comment back from that person um, and comments from other French people Support that person, um, but not many, to be honest with you, because I think um, I think comments have come from people that haven't really watched the channel and seen the journey and seen the growth uh, and seen our personal growth from moving from the UK to France. I think if they had, they'd have had a more balanced, less ignorant view um, of us as a as a young, not young in age, I'm old, uh, young. <laughs> Your YouTube channel, and I particularly like the um, the comments saying that uh, that the reason why they watch us is because we say it as it is. It's a uh, no bullshit channel. Yeah, there's nothing fake about this channel, apart from my hair colour and beard colour. But we all know that. Unfortunately, Lisa this morning had her first troll on her channel. So those of that you, so those of you that don't know, Lisa has um, started her own channel which is still pretty small, just about um, her trying to live a more healthy lifestyle and just wanted to try out the, uh, the potato reset diet, which we all know is not, not a healthy long-term diet, but it's, it's a reset diet and it's called that for a reason. And so, um, yeah, she had a bit, a bit of negativity this morning. Um, and so, yes, yes, the comments like, like that hurt. But um, again, I like to think of trolls as somebody sat in their mum's back bedroom, wearing Batman pyjamas, eating Cheetos, with Cheeto dust all over their fingers. I, I would normally say what's it, but I don't think Americans know what what's it's are, but they're Cheetos. And that's how I like to think of these people who are sat there giving negativity. And uh, yeah, we should expect, well, should we expect, ne should we expect negativity as YouTubers? We're not professional filmmakers, we're just normal, ordinary people that get a camera and upload it onto a social media platform. I don't think that, that gives, the right, gives the people the right just to be horrible, just for the sake of it, that's, that's just mean. Anyway, I had planned on, uh, on mowing the lawn today. It doesn't really need it, the, you know, the grass isn't growing. And uh, I, learned, I learned a lot from, yeah, from Daryl that came around the other day when he was saying that grass grows between seven degrees and 30 degrees. Um, I, th I think that's what he said. 
or, or did it get the other way around? So, you're sorry, Dale, if I've got that wrong. Uh, but it's not growing at the moment. Um, I, I think it's because it's always plus 30. But uh, but there are weeds, and uh, I, I, and I wanted to get that done. But it's raining, so I can't. Maybe if it dries up later, I will do. So, no idea what's next. Whatever it is, let's do that. See you tomorrow. Um, a bit cloudy today and uh, so with it being Sunday there's no outside work being done um, so there's not much planned for today anyway yeah Lisa and I were having a conversation the other week and uh, she asked herself this question um, and we thought it was a, a really interesting question because uh, you know, we've asked it of, uh, of everyone that we know um, with the exception of one, everyone's given the same answer. What it was, was, if you could pick up our house and our grounds and our view and move it to anywhere in the UK, like the Cotswolds, would we? And the answer was no. It was a resounding no. We just wouldn't do it. it we just got no inclination to go back to the UK at all. Um, the pace of life is... Um, it's too quick. Um, you know, the, the French culture is uh, every day's family. It's quiet to keep yourself to yourself. Um, but enjoying yourself at the same time. And we don't think, yeah, that we could get that back in the UK. And obviously, I speak with her uh, 52 years of, uh, well, 51, because I'm 52 now, we've lived a year. 51 years worth of experience. So, uh, yeah, anyway. What's a veggie patch update? I know I do. So something, or someone, <laughs> is eating our melons. 
and tomatoes, which isn't good. But fortunately, news of Ombuku did did tomato. But uh, yeah, I think it's a rat. The squash is massive. I don't know whether you can see that, but uh, I've got an aubergine and quite a few flowers growing too. Loads of lettuce and rocket and still producing uh, courgettes or as probably marrow now, aren't they? I'll call them tomatoes. Playing the guitar. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the other day when Darren helped me? I, d I didn't film it um, with my bike when I had the rear tire blowout. Well, I uh, went round to his house last week. He lives in. Uh, well, that's in the centre of Confalon, which is our favourite town. And he showed me around his house. And up in the attic uh, were the beams, the, uh, the rafters, are they called? Big oak things. House is over 400 years old. But it's what I found amazing. I really, I really did find it amazing, was that um, people who had previously lived there had uh, graffitied on the beams, etched their names in and their dates in and there was one dated back um, a couple of hundred years and uh, I also saw one which uh, was dated at the start of the First World War and uh, I just found it absolutely fascinating you know so just like a realization really that uh, yeah we may own these houses and this land in terms of uh, money but at the end of the day, we're just guardians, aren't we? For the next lot, you come to take over. I'll see you tomorrow. Right, back to school. <laughs> this day's been a long time coming. Cue slow mo. Oliver, you excited about school? Yeah. What are you excited about? Seeing my friends. Good. What are you excited about, Angel? Uh, seeing my teacher and my friends. Teacher and your friends. Uh -huh. Right, so that's it. Kids are safely dropped off at school. The house feels weirdly quiet, <laughs> which is lovely. It's been a, it's been a long hard eight weeks. I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> my wife agreeing with me it has it has honestly it's been it's been a long hard eight weeks angel has now developing her own definite personality uh yeah she's a force to be reckoned with and she's created this ability to wind robbie up quietly which makes him react which makes us think that he's the instigator <laughs> and it's not the case it's always angel yes yeah, so yeah, as soon as we get to the school, um, <clears throat> I'm handed um, a um, sleeve of uh, paperwork that we've got to try and uh, decipher and translate uh, in relation to... Because uh, what you've got the choice in, in France. Um, I, I don't think they do packed lunches. You either stay for your school meal um, or you get picked up and, and get taken home, which isn't an issue because uh, everyone lives local to the school. And I know a few... A few of the parents do it, so it's um, yeah, uh, yes, yeah, so they want to, to know whether the kids are going to be staying for, for school lunches or or whether they're going to be picked up, and, and of course, they're going to be staying. And the other thing is, is that uh, you need um, I think it's called assurance uh, scolaire, so e each child needs their own uh, health insurance for um, 
yeah, for school, you know, for like school trips and or, or if anything happens to them at school. So, uh, yeah, we're going to need to look into that because last year we were piggybacking off um, the um, the private health insurance. So it's the 2nd of September and uh, we've just realised that um, it's a year to the day that the delivery driver came and picked up our stuff um, to take it into storage. And a year ago today that we drove to Folkestone and the packing's begun into the van. Saying goodbye to all our stuff. Thank you, friends. Welcome. Take care. <laughs> In England to stay the night before we got the the ferry so it'll be tomorrow that we've been in France for for exactly a year so today um, Elisa and I are going back up to Angoulême and uh, we're gonna have a curry to celebrate our 12th wedding anniversary that was yesterday um, but we're gonna go have a curry and celebrate that yeah thanks again to uh, to everybody that uh, that commented on the videos, uh, always reply. Uh, we've got an Instagram account called Escape to France 2024. So uh, give us a follow, follow and I'll, I'll follow you back. Um, leaves one last thing left to say. It's not from me. Laters.